T.I., listen to me very closely. No. What are you doing? Just don't. No. T.I., of course, a great rapper from the early 2000s and onward that we all used to listen to when we were trying to be cool in our car. And in the rap game, he was pretty legit. I mean, he had weapon charges. So I assume that he is pro-Second Amendment. Maybe somebody will find something out there where he's against guns now, ironically or unironically. Uh, as a political activist, though, I do not agree with probably 90% of what he says. Um... But he is willing to speak with people. I've seen him speak on panels. I've seen him speak with different guests that most people probably wouldn't have, including Alex Jones he had on his podcast, which, of course, is forbidden. The deep state's forbidden it. Nobody wants me on. I'm no band person. Go to band.video.org.gov. So I commend him for having an actual conversation with Alex Jones and taking him seriously at his word. If you want, because those words, you can certainly... See how people nah, issue, man. man. When you say those words, you know what those words mean. If you are exceptionally intelligent, or you are exceptionally unintelligent and you're dumb, so it's either you didn't know what you were saying and you're exceptionally dumb, or you did know what you're saying and it's a dog whistle. Now that clip right there is pretty much why I disagree with him. Uh, he's taking these things. He, he takes the cutoff quote of Charlottesville, one of the most easily debunkable things. He's on all of those. He's taking that, he's taking the ball, and he's running off the cliff with it. Um, let's show the clip right now, frankly, for, any, for anybody who's still on the fence about that. Very fine people on both sides. You had people in that group. Excuse me. Excuse me. I saw the same pictures as you did. You had people in that group that were there to protest the taking down of, to them, a very, very important statue and the renaming of a park from Robert E. Lee to another name. George Washington was a slave owner. Was George Washington a slave owner? So will George Washington now lose his status? Are we going to take down, excuse me, are we going to take down, are we going to take down statues to George Washington? How about Thomas Jefferson? What do you think of Thomas Jefferson? You like him? Okay, good. Are we going to take down the statue? Because he was a major slave owner. Now are we going to take down his statue? So you know what? It's fine. You're changing history, you're changing culture, and you had people, and I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. But you had many people in that group other than neo-Nazis and white nationalists, okay? And if you watch the Alex Jones and T.I. podcast, which I recommend, because you can kind of take a, make a good decision on whether or not you want to support T.I.'s viewpoint on it, for most of this stuff, he goes on to say that basically all the false pretenses that have already been debunked, like he's like one of the hosts on The View, <laughs> um, the S-hole countries, Puerto Rico, all, all the eas most easily refutable points against Trump that the media essentially created, um, he b basically is bought and sold onto those. He seems to believe all of them, and it's hard for me to believe that he actually looked into any of these things. Don't think Candace, Candace Owens is doing her job with him. You know, she should have uh, showed him the evidence against all this stuff. But that's not the point of this video at all. I can deal with somebody being a victim of fake news. It's not necessarily their fault. It's putting trust in the wrong places. But what T.I. admitted to on a recent podcast called Ladies Like Us, it's called, I really relate to that. Ladies like us, you know, I'm an avid listener. He admitted to the fact that he brings... He didn't just admit it. Admit it's the wrong word. He he expressed without hesitation the fact that he brings his daughter to the gynecologist for yearly hymen inspections. I don't know if saying it quieter is, makes me less likely to, to be demonetized. I don't know if that's a demonetizable word. But he takes her for hymen inspections to the doctor to check to see if she's a virgin, to check to see if her hymen is intact. I'm not kidding. By the way, it sounds like a joke, but I'm not kidding. He talks about it just like it's good parenting. You know, I pick up my school, my kids from uh, from school, take them to their baseball games. I go to the recitals and we go get our hymens checked every year. It's really, really creepy. It's uh, about a two minute clip. Here it is in its entirety. You're welcome. Now we have we had the conversation. <laughs> we have yearly trips to the gynecologist to check her height. Oh, you okay. <laughs> I'm done with you right now. So, anyway. Uh, do you go with her? She's a prisoner. Yes, yes, I go with her. Do you go with her? Somebody check on Deja. I go with her. She's and, a prisoner. 
I'm so let me tell you, right? So so this is one time we go. I think this might have been after her 16th birthday. And this is what we do. Like, you know, right after the birthday, we celebrate. And, we go and check know, her hymen after. And then, <laughs> what the fuck? You know, usually like the day after the party, she's enjoying her gifts. I put a sticky note on the dope. Got no. <laughs> Tomorrow, <laughs> nine thirty. Oh, this is great. <laughs> and so, so look, right? So we'll go. You know what I mean? We'll go and and uh, we sit down. We'll sit down, and then the doctor will come and talk. And you know, the doctor's maintaining a high level of professionalism. Mm -hmm. He's like, well, you know, sir, I have to. You know, in order for me to share information, I say, Deja, they want you to sign this. <laughs> I need to know if your hymen's still there. So we can uh, <laughs> share information. Do you have is anything? Is there anything that you would not want me to know? Oh, okay. See, Doc, ain't no problem. You are the worst. And so, <laughs> and so then, right? Then they come and say, okay, uh, well, I just want I just want you to know that there are other ways besides sex that the hymen can be broken. Right. Like, Bike riding, uh -huh. really? athletics, horseback riding. That's aggressive. Uh, <laughs> that is aggressive and, riding. You know, just right. other other forms of, of athletic physical activity. Is she an athlete? Can, no. So, <laughs> there you so go. I say, You're like, Sorry, I say, look, I say, look, doc. I say, look, doc. She's not. <laughs> she don't ride no horses. She don't ride no bike. She don't play no sports, man. Just check the hymen, please. <laughs> And give me back my results oh, expeditiously. No. <laughs> expeditiously. <laughs> but I will, you know, I will say as of her 18th birthday, her hymen is still in oh, Deja. Uh, T.I.? No. <laughs> Not only is it extremely creepy, he seems to have no idea how weird it is. And my question is, where is the mother on this? Is, he, is, his, is the mother around? Is she just okay with this? Or are they all just, uh, or all they, are they all just agreeing to this so that they don't get cut off financially? Because that's the only reason I can think of. I have two questions. Why at 18 would you agree with this? And where is the mother? And the only thing I can think of is that if she doesn't agree to this or they don't agree with this, then they're going to get financially cut off, which is probably millions upon millions of dollars, to be fair. T.I. was number one for a long time. Imagine going to a doctor, though. Like this, It's so creepy. Imagine going to a doctor that's not checking you for medical reasons. They're looking inside of you for sexual reasons. Not their sexual reasons, thank God. But to see if you've had sex. Somebody going inside your body for non-medical purposes? Like, with her consent, even though she's bullied into it? It's so creepy and so weird. Now... <laughs> I have a thousand jokes for this, but I really just wonder if T.I. gets his sons to go to the doctors to get a yearly ball check. Hmm. Seems empty to me. Oh my god, you've been lying to me, son. What are you doing? Ball check. Butthole checks. It's all... Uh, I don't even know. Here are the couple of the top replies so that I don't just keep uh, saying things that get me demonetized. What T.I. has done to his daughter is rape culture. It's the beginning of teaching black girls that they do not have agency over their own bodies. It's also teaching sexual shame and repressing desire. Now all her sexual engagements must be secretive. Shame and secrecy is violent. This person's a lunatic too. Can't. What does this have to do with being black? Can't you just say that it's weird and creepy because it is? Shame plus secrecy is violent. No, it's not violence. Okay, and this is nothing to. This is not an overarching racial <laughs> argument here. It's just him being creepy. A message for T.I. and the men who agree with him. You don't own your daughter. Her sexuality is not yours to police. And your obsession with her sex life is pretty perverted, quite frankly. Again, first of all, probably four men agree with T.I. on this. But you do own your kids. Uh, sorry to tell you. You can't sell them unless you're in a different part of the world, I guess. But, like, technically you do own your kids. You tell them what to do. You feed them. You clothe them. But this person's a weirdo too because they're trying to make this some sort of grand scheme, some grand point about society when you could just f see one thing and make it a point to call it, call it creepy and weird like it is. Could you imagine if I came on here and was like, this is about black culture and the patriarchy and T.I. is doing this because he wants to oppress women in society? The, Twitter is just an abyss of losers like this who just speak non- 
nonsensical nonsense. Great wordage there, right? Eh? Can you imagine that I'm a writer? People in real life can't respond to you. So it's like going out into the middle of a crowded street and yelling something stupid and hoping that people, I like that. I have a reply. I'd like to quote you. <laughs> you can just not look at the reply. So it's not like you're really talking to anybody. It's not like you have to actually defend your point. Twitter is just these people going out and screaming their opinion. And they all think that everyone on Twitter thinks they're the wittiest person in the world, the most insightful. And it's people like this. Like you take something that's so easy to just be like, yeah, this is really creepy and weird. And then you go, no, it's a societal value. This is rape culture and the patriarchy, you guys. Uh, it goes the other way too, though, and and I try to find an excuse to bring up this tweet a lot. Um, the great ph philosopher Tyler, the creator, as he once said, it's like the original reason Milo was banned from Twitter. This because what he said mean things about that gigantic lady in Ghostbusters, and then people piled on. I just don't understand it. I just don't understand the meaning behind. Like I have to. I have to get something out of this when I tweet. Like, not not only... Like, I can't just point out that T.I. said something or did something weird. I have to benefit from this somehow by virtue signaling and make myself feel better. But what's even the point of this T.I. is what I want to know. What are you doing? It's not like there's not other ways that she can circumvent your crazy, obsessive, uh, I don't know, disorder that you have with your daughter. She she can do other things sexually without you knowing. You realize I write T.I. Or does only that one particular form of sex matter to you? Maybe it's a pregnancy thing, but like... Like, he even says the doctor says you can break it in different ways. And he's like, she doesn't ride a horse. She doesn't play sports. So, T.I., what are you really doing? What are you hoping to accomplish next? And to his daughter, look out. And maybe his sons. The cavity checks are coming. <laughs>